Hey, I'm Alex. I'm Christian. I'm Ted. We uh, we built an autonomous autonomous quadcopter here, um, and basically what it does is the Raspberry Pi mimics the signals that are sent by a radio controller and then sends them into the flight controller that actually decides how the um, the motor should be controlled so that uh, it can send, for example, the same signal that, the, that your radio controller would uh, to say uh, increase throttle. So the uh, autonomy part of the drone, it gets information from a camera underneath which tracks uh, a red object. The way that works is the uh, camera runs a stream in the background <coughs> and frames are being pulled incrementally and some CV analysis is done to figure out where on the screen your object is and from that to the controller we send information on what direction needs to be traveled by the drone to get to that object. So the flight controller for the drone uses uh, three different inputs. One is the sonic sensor located here. That's for height control. And then for X and Y location control, the camera is used. And it, the quadcopter uses an LQR controller to find the desired height and a proportional controller to have it hover directly over a target. So uh, next we'll show you a quick demo of this thing working. So the screen probably has the most information. Uh, you can see as Christian moves the um, moves the quadcopter the values on the screen update, uh, which provides feedback for us during testing of, of the drone. Um, you can also change the states of the switches. Right, so as Alex is saying, we can <coughs> manually control between autonomous flight and then remote flight uh, using a switch on our controller. Yeah. So the switch, the switch states are there, right? A and B? Yeah, yeah A and B. Okay. He also chose the same. Yep. Go. The uh, it's still running.